The Ford 9-inch has been the most popular rear axle model for its versatility in off- and on-road applications for over half a century. They are extremely versatile for use in stock and upgraded vehicle builds. The heart of the Ford 9-inch is the third member case. It's important to assemble the bearing caps on the proper side and orientation. If the bearing caps are not already marked, the installer will punch light identification marks into the caps and case sides for quick visual reference during assembly. The pilot bearing is a unique and key component that adds strength to the Ford 9-inch by reducing deflection in the pinion gear. This is especially critical when the ring and pinion gears are under heavy acceleration or shock loads. The pilot bearing is pressed or driven into place, followed by a retaining clip. Now that the third member case is prepped, the tech can move on to preparing the other major components. The first step of preparing the differential case is to install the carrier bearings and the ring gear. The bearings are pressed onto the carrier and firmly seated. A few swipes with a flat file on the ring gear face ensures that there are no nicks or burrs on the seating surface. A thread locking compound is applied to the ring gear bolts, which are then step torqued in a star pattern to the gear manufacturer's recommended torque specification. Next step is to prepare the pinion support. The inner and outer pinion races are pressed into place and firmly seated. An o-ring is placed onto the pinion support and brushed with a light coat of oil to achieve a proper seal. The outer pinion bearing is placed into the pinion support and the pinion seal is driven into place until fully seated. A pre-measured bearing spacer and ship kit is placed onto the pinion shaft above the inner pinion bearing. The pinion gear and pinion support are assembled by pulling the pinion bearing into the assembly using a temporary setup yoke and pinion nut. The bearing preload is checked to ensure it's within specification. If any adjustment is required, the tech will add or remove shims to reach desired thickness. With the major components prepared, it's time to assemble the third member. The pinion support and a pre-measured pinion shim are seated onto the third member case and the bolts are torqued to the third member manufacturer's specification. The differential carrier assembly and bearing races are installed into the differential case, followed by threaded side adjusters and the bearing caps that were marked earlier, making sure to align them with their corresponding orientation marks. The bearing caps are lightly torqued and an initial reading on the ring gear backlash is performed.
the side adjusters are rotated inwards in equal increments to set the differential bearing preload. A specialized pattern checking compound is applied to the ring gear teeth which allows the tech to see how the ring gear teeth are meshing with the pinion gear. If the desired pattern has not been reached, a different thickness of pinion shim will be replaced until the proper contact pattern is achieved. Since this assembly has a solid spacer for the pinion bearings, the proper series yoke can be installed at a later time, making it compatible for most factory and aftermarket short or long yokes. This third member is now ready for a huge range of uses on the street, drag strip, or off-road. There are countless options for gear ratios and traction differentials, in addition to many levels of strength from moderate to overkill.